So getting the footage in is pretty easy. Next question, how do you actually view the footage when you're editing? Well, we already mentioned that you come up to the view heading, stereoscopic mode and choose the particular mode that you want to do. But what about if I want to pop this off to another screen rather than just looking in this small window up here? Well, there's various ways of doing it. First one is there's the full screen capability inside of Edius where you just double click on this and then whatever you see there will run full screen on another computer monitor. That works fine. In particular, I'm using a piece of Edius hardware called a Storm Mobile inside this machine. So I'll go to the system settings, hardware, preview device, and if I turn on the Storm Mobile and open up the settings, you'll notice that I have a new heading, stereoscopic settings. This is on the Storm Mobile, it's also on the HD Spark, and of course the Storm 3G. And you can see here, I've got various settings of what I want to pop up out of the Storm Mobile. Now, left right dual stream basically means full quality 3D. It's the sort of stuff that you would get directly off of a 3D Blu-ray disc if you stick into a 3D Blu-ray player. Now, the only gizmo that Grass Valley do that can do that is the Storm 3G, and it does it through the SDI socket, not through the HDMI socket. Now you can put a Grass Valley SDI to HDMI converter on it, which means it then works in 3D on a proper 3D screen, but with the stuff that I've got, which is a Storm Mobile, that doesn't work. Basically, there are reasons why you pay more money for hardware, like the Storm 3G, that's one of them. But what I can do on my Spark or my Storm Mobile is I can use any of these. So for example, side by side, and now out through the Storm Mobile, they'll do a side-by-side -side 3D picture. I pop my TV into side-by-side -side mode and I can quite happily watch 3D on a separate screen out through the Storm Mobile. And I can set a different setting here to the one that's on the timeline. So if I tick that, it's exactly the same as the one that's in the normal viewer. But if I don't tick it, then I have a different thing popping out through the Storm Mobile as opposed to the screen here. And that's quite nice because, to be honest, if you have things like side-by-side -side steps here, it's actually quite annoying when you're trying to look at the picture in the screen here and mark in and out points and actually do real editing with it. But I do want to be able to judge it and look at it in 3D at some point. So what's nice is that I can set the Storm Mobile to pop the picture out and watch it in 3D if I pop it, look at the 3D screen, but on the computer, I can say, no, just show me one angle. Another option is that you can use NVIDIA 3D. Now, it's impossible to show you this while I'm actually filming a tutorial, unfortunately, but if I had this set up on a decent NVIDIA graphics card, I've got a 550 inside of this computer, and I had a 3D screen attached to it, then I would be able to pop this out full quality onto the second monitor that's attached to the graphics card using the NVIDIA 3D capabilities. And it's using the 3D that's built into an average modern NVIDIA card. So there's some nice options for previewing whilst you're editing. I've actually used the full screen option quite a lot myself. Just pop a simple 3D screen. I've got an LG 23 inch, which didn't cost too much money. And pop that onto the second head of my graphics card. And all of a sudden, wham, I've got 3D coming out through that whilst I'm editing inside of Edius.